to lift this investigation with a very large tank of carbon dioxide. We've got to get a move on. There's some plants waiting for this. This large delivery of carbon dioxide is needed for a project to investigate the effect of carbon dioxide levels on plant growth. Claire Sterling, who runs the project, is waiting to meet me. Hi. Listen, while Lou's unloading the carbon dioxide, why not come and have a look at what's going on? In each of these domes, we've got a selection of plants and we're growing them under different conditions to see how that affects their growth. Come inside. So what's special about this dome? It feels just like outside. Well, the temperature is exactly the same as outside, but what's different is the carbon dioxide levels are actually double outside. Really? I can't tell the difference. I can't see it or feel it. No, but this is what all this equipment here is for, and the noise is that we're actually taking carbon dioxide from the tanker, blowing it through this hole and spreading it over the plants in each dome. While Lou connects up the carbon dioxide, I'll show you how heavy it is. These balloons are filled with a gas called helium. It's much lighter than air. But these balloons are full of carbon dioxide, which, as you can see, is a heavy gas, much heavier than air. Carbon dioxide weighs tonnes. No wonder it makes plants heavier. Remember the equation for photosynthesis? Well, if you increase the raw materials, you would expect more photosynthesis to take place. But does it? This apparatus can actually measure how much photosynthesis is going on in a leaf. The leaf is mounted in a glass container. A trace measures the photosynthesis rate. To show it's working, first switch off the light and see the rate fall to zero because plants need light for photosynthesis. When the light's put back on, it starts to photosynthesize again. Now, let's increase the carbon dioxide supply to the leaf. The rate of photosynthesis goes up, but does it mean the plants grow more? That's where the domes come in. This ryegrass has been growing in a dome with high carbon dioxide levels. To measure the growth, Claire trims an area of grass to a fixed height and collects the clippings. I'm off next door to cut the ryegrass growing in there. A dome with normal levels of carbon dioxide, a control used for comparison. The temperature and water levels in the domes are kept constant, so it's a fair test. Both sets of clippings are collected, dried, then weighed. The trimmings from the control weigh 5.1 grams, and the trimmings from the high carbon dioxide weigh 11 grams. So it looks like higher carbon dioxide levels do mean more growth. So what's the point of this experiment? What does it tell us? Well, the thing is, scientists know that carbon dioxide has increased in the air and is going to continue to increase in the future. So the work we're doing here really is to try and understand how that's going to affect plant growth. Listen, why don't we check on the results of a little experiment? Okay. Yours is in this dome and I'll go and see the ones in here. Six weeks ago, Claire planted my favourite seeds, sunflowers. She left some in the control dome and some in the dome with higher carbon dioxide levels. So how have they done? Oh no, yours is bigger than mine. Mind you, that's because your dome had more carbon dioxide in it. That's right, more carbon dioxide, more growth.